Hi, welcome to Mark Austin Trading Tips. And today we're going to look at intraday price caps and how we can uh, profit from uh, trade setups using these. We're going to take the, the 6th of May as a case example. And on this particular day, we had the non farm payrolls news release item. And this is quite important because a lot of uh, intraday gaps that are visible on the price uh, charts are formed on the back of major news release items. So certainly on, a, on the non-farm payrolls day, we want to be um, observing for these um, price gaps. So the day opens at um, ATM, and uh, we, we make a fresh high for the day at 5.930 right here. The market then drifts lower, and we trade sideways until 1.30. That's pretty typical for a non-farm payrolls day. A lot of traders are sidelined. They're not wanted to take fresh positions until the, um, the news release is provided at 1.30. So we can see at 1.30 that the market comes alive again. And we get a big buying spike right here. And that's on the back of some, some positive data. Uh, but what's, what's of notice to us is that right here down at 5,900, we can see that a, um, a clear visible price gap is formed. And this is an area in the market where there is no trading activity and you'll tend to see that the the market will revisit this area for a gap fill um, either on an intraday basis or even a couple of hours later however um, entering there and then for that gap fill isn't um, isn't good enough we, we, we need to look for another sell trigger on a short-term basis now this is a 15-minute chart um, you can you can lose uh, use lower time frames, but we're going to use the 15 minute chart to have a look at some um, some uh, short term sell triggers. So um, looking at this bar, we certainly don't want to be shorting here. It's very very bullish. We break the the high of the day at 5930. Uh, again, very bullish, and that uh, that particular area then becomes support for the day. Now. Um, one um, sell signal or one buy signal, which I, I look for on uh, on the charts, um, is a is a positive or, or a negative outside bar. Um, you can use them for longer term trade setups. Um, you can even use them for other forms of analysis to enter you short along. But as I said, in this example, we we're, lo we're looking to trade a gap fill, and I'm looking for a short term trigger. So we're using the 15-minute chart. Now, an outside bar, sorry, an, uh, sorry, a negative outside bar or a positive outside bar is formed when we take a when we take a candlestick. The next candlestick uh, makes a higher high, and it also makes a lower low. Um, and for it to be a positive, it would need to then close above the the high of the previous wick and to um, to be a negative outside bar, it would need to close below the low of the previous bar. So what, what does one of these bars look like? Well, um, here we can see we've got a bar here. The next bar here makes a higher high. It makes a lower lower as well, but we didn't close, we didn't close outside or below the previous bar. So we certainly don't get a negative bar there, and we didn't close above, so we don't get a positive bar either. Um, so we've got no sell signal here, and again, there's no other reasons to be short for this gap fill at this point in time. The market then moves up, and we see some, a series of higher highs, and it's not really until we get above 580 that we see that we see a, a good solid sell signal, and that is in the form of a uh, negative outside bar. So we can see the last bullet, bullish candlestick forms here. The next candlestick makes a higher high. It also makes a lower low. But the important thing here is we close below the low of the previous candlestick bar. So this creates a negative outside bar, and it's a sell signal. And this is enough to trigger a short for this um, gap close at 5,900. Um, to enter this trade, you would wait for the price action to break the low of the outside bar, and you would put your stop a couple of pips above the high of that bar. And uh, your target would be 5,900. I mean, conservative traders, you could wait until um, 5,930 went, uh, which was the support for the day. But as I said, the, the, the negative outside bar for me is enough to trigger short, um, given that the, the intraday gap close is a high probability trade setup in any case. So the market then moves down. 
Um, and over a couple of hours, we get a clear gap fill um, down at five nine five nine hundred. Um, so hopefully you found that interesting and useful. As I said, I I look out for for these intraday gaps, and they they do provide a good solid trade setup. Uh, but the key thing is that we need to be looking for um, some short-term triggers to enter us uh, into these trade setups as well. So um, I will be back um, shortly with um, some um, more trading tips for you. Thanks very much.